Hey, what's happening everybody? Happy New Year. Welcome back to KC Bass Guys. My name is Brandon. And I'm Todd. <laughs> Today, we are testing and reviewing these. These are probably the most common 22 caliber carbine rifle on the market. These are the Ruger 1022. A little bit about the Ruger 1022. Um, they are extremely inexpensive. Like I said, they are hands down the most popular 22 uh, rifle on the market. They fire a very small cartridge. They fire the, let me get one for you here. They fire the 22 long rifle. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. That is a tiny, tiny cartridge. So everything about these guns are cheap except the performance. Uh, arguably the most uh, modified 22 market, or a 22 caliber rifle on the market. Ruger, of course, has made these for ever mm -hmm. what we're going to do today uh, we want to find out uh, we want to find out a few things about this uh, the primary thing that we want to find out today is is a 22 rifle these tiny little rifles would these be good enough for zombies and find out would this be something that we'd be willing to saddle up and take with us if we had to bug out in a zombie apocalypse so test number one we want to find out about reliability in a zombie apocalypse reliability is going to be extremely important you want to know that your firearm is going to fire every time you have to use it particularly in the land of zombies so what we're going to do right now is todd and i are going to both load up a magazine uh filled probably with about 20 rounds or so uh, with no particular target in mind and just blast and we're going to make sure that the gun cycles properly all the way through we'll let you know if there's any hang-ups and see how reliable these guns are right out of the box i like it pretty smooth pretty easy no hiccups no jams nothing so far i'm pretty impressed That's what I expected. It's a Ruger, it's a 1022. Cycled through all of them. So far, reliability is on point with this gun. I dig it. Test two is accuracy. In a zombie apocalypse, accuracy matters. Headshots are really the only thing that counts. We all know this from, from popular zombie shows that we've all seen before. But uh, what we're gonna do now is just fire at a target in rapid succession. Uh, one of the nice things about the 1022 that makes it especially, uh, especially good, I think, in this scenario is that there's no recoil. There's little to no recoil at all. So target acquisition is a lot easier with a 1022. You don't have to worry about coming back off to, or coming back to find your target again if you're using a scope, if you're just using the iron sights. Target acquisition is very, very easy with a 1022. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and fire at a target that we have set up on a tree over here. It's a shoot and see target. And we're just going to fire through a magazine at the target as quickly as possible. Now accuracy when it comes to the gun itself is the, the gun is fine. There's, there's going to be no, the gun itself is inherently uh, accurate it, it really boils down to shooter so we're going to go ahead and fire up the accuracy test here todd's going to go first then i'm going to go right after him and we'll see how how accurate it makes a shooter little to no recoil little to no noise as i have my headphones on Pretty accurate, <laughs> pretty darn accurate. Even without a scope, these sights are working perfectly. I like it. <sighs> there is a zombie out here, <sighs> no chance. Yeah, okay. Power, I don't know yet, but accuracy. So All right. So good. All right, so not necessarily always on the red dot, but at least the grouping was pretty darn good. It's about a, oh, inch and a half, two inch spread there. So, um, you know, for a first time, I'll take it. So far, I think that I, I can't tell if it's the gun or maybe the ammo or just this magazine. This magazine here, by the way, is a Ruger BX25. This is made by Ruger. It's their 25 round magazine for made specifically for the 1022. And this happened to us earlier off camera when we were uh, sort of testing these guns just to see how they'll run. Um, but some of the rounds uh, were having 
uh, difficulty feeding to the uh, to the ramp that goes up into the chamber. Some of the rounds were having difficulty coming out of the magazine. Uh, some of them were ejecting completely. Uh, I don't know if that's maybe just a break-in thing or if it's just if maybe it's just a defect in this particular magazine. But it happened. We have three of them here on site, and it happened with all three of them. So maybe it's just a break-in thing, and I don't know. Next thing we're going to check is the knockdown power of the 22 long rifle. That has less to do with the Ruger 1022 and the BX25 magazine as it does just the, tw the 22 long rifle round itself. So we're going to check that here for you just a second. All right. So I don't know when this happened, but. Um, yeah, it's kind of all over the place, but still within the the confines of the target itself. I guess if you were to, you know, put it up against the head, that's all within headshot distance. So, again, this uh, still maybe a few kinks to work out, but so far I'm pleased. It looks like all the rounds that I fired did go through the target, even when the target was on its backside like this. So, I'm I'm pleased with that. I'll take it. <laughs> Last but not least. I'm so nervous. <laughs> okay, guys, what we're going to test now is the knockdown power of the 22 long rifle. The 22 long rifle is uh, definitely uh, debated among a lot of firearms enthusiasts. Like I said before, it is an extremely tiny round, if you can see that right there. That's a very, very small round. It's not going very fast, maybe 12 to 12 to 1,300 feet per second. Um, what we're going to do now is test them on, since we know headshots count, we're going to go ahead and test them on a few uh head simulations i guess uh, the theory that i had behind this when we were setting up this test is that there are several different stages that a zombie would go through the first one when a zombie is brand new to the game right they're a brand new zombie they just got bit their bone density is going to be very very strong similar to that of a human being right as time goes on their bone density is going to deteriorate thus causing a uh, their skull of course their skull bone to be a lot softer so we've got three different ones that we're going to try out so we're going to start with coconuts that's going to be our simulation i guess of a 22 long rifle versus a brand new zombie who just came into the game so todd's going to go first he's going to shoot two of the coconuts we got a GoPro set up down there too uh, to get close up on the action. Please don't shoot my GoPro. I can't promise you. Let's see that in an instant replay. All right, let's go see how we did. Right. Guys, it's getting dark on us here, so we're gonna have to be quick about this, but the uh, the camera does a good job of making the uh, making it look brighter than it is outside, but the sun is definitely going down on us. Went in, would've gone there. in about here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then, okay. okay, so we got entry one there. Okay. Yeah, right there. And then exit wound right there. Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay. Uh, yeah, for a zombie that's fresh off the boat, I would say that's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot a couple of cantaloupes. Uh, cantaloupes are gonna be stage two, I think, of the zombie skull. And so they're gonna be a little bit softer. And we're gonna go ahead and set those up too in the interest of being expeditious here since we're losing daylight as we speak. All right, let's check it out and see how we do it on the cantaloupes, guys. Okay, a little more visible. <laughs> okay, so. Ugh. All right, so entry wound would have been here on the cantaloupe. On the exit, it smells fantastic, by the way. Yes, it does. Right here, so that's cantaloupe. Mm -hmm. So far, I'm uh, I'm feeling confident that if a 22 was what I had for the zombie apocalypse, I'd be all right. Mm -hmm. All right, last up, grapefruit. This is the uh, the zombies that don't really have many uh, don't have anything for legs left, or they're that that one zombie that's just a torso chasing you. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna set up some grapefruits here and let them have it. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, y'all. Let's check the uh, grapefruits here and see how we did. So again, the grapefruit is designed to resemble the oldest uh, zombies out there. Anyway, on the oldest on the oldest zombie skull, this is what it would turn out to look like. So that's fantastic. Um, all right, excellent. So guys, uh, final final thoughts here on the Ruger 1022. And Todd, if you have any, feel free to chime in. Uh, one thing that I did notice through this is I wasn't wearing, through this entire video, I, was, I wasn't following proper shooting etiquette. I didn't have ears on the entire time. And that's actually one of the advantages of the 1022 is that it's not... It's not super loud. Um, I mean, it's got some pop to it, of course, but it's not so so loud that it's gonna 
you know, break your eardrums or anything like that. Certainly nothing like an AR, which is also a 22 caliber, but a heck of a lot louder and a heck of a lot faster. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing that I noticed is I've had a pocket full of ammo with me the entire time, able to reload my magazine through all of these tests, and it's not cumbersome, it's not heavy. Um, in fact, I almost forgot it's there. Uh, so 22 long rifle ammo, I believe, is satisfactory for me. If a 22 long rifle was all that I had for the zombie apocalypse, I would be I would be glad to have it for sure, um, and I, I would feel confident that I could defend myself against a bunch of raging zombies in a in a apocalyptic scenario with a Ruger 10-22. Excellent gun. Um, definitely another one of my takeaways on the Ruger 10-22 is it does require a break in. There's for sure. Uh, maybe it's the magazines. I think but it's the magazine. The gun it seemed like worked great, but yeah. I think it's just the magazine. Mm -hmm. yep. so yeah maybe just the factory magazine or something like that to get started with but guys it's definitely getting dark on us here we got a lot of cleanup to do thank you for checking in with us happy new year uh, we do want to go ahead and invite you again to subscribe to the channel give this video a thumbs up for us uh, follow us on instagram as well at casey bass guys we're also now on twitter as well uh, we post our videos over oh. there too yeah we're on twitter now I did not know that. yeah so um, again uh, thank you guys for checking in with us we're the casey bass guys i'm brandon i'm todd happy new year